What's up everybody? I hope all y'all are doing alright. I'm wanting to do a really fast video uh, quickly explaining the envelope system. Now I've been doing this for a while now. You watch my other videos you'll see how the debt snowball and using this system has really helped me pay off bills and how I'm on the path to getting debt free and how managing money by using cash helps out a whole lot and not using the card as much. So I broke down just some numbers. Now this isn't at my actual budget. This is just me making up some numbers, just giving an example. And this is what I do. I split it up between, uh, just say like June 1st to the 15th, because I get paid twice a month, and then June 15th to the 30th. And what I do is I separate the bills that's due this, you know, the first part, and then the second half. And so I just did some numbers here, acting like this is what, you know, other people may have or whatever. So if you add up all your bills together, it's sixteen hundred and twenty five dollars as an example and you add up your envelope system which uh, you do that second so if you make twenty four hundred dollars a month you would go twenty four hundred minus sixteen twenty five uh, and that would give you the money that you have left over to live on so what I do is I leave a little bit of money into my account so say I'd leave seventy five fifty to seventy five dollars in my bank account or whatever so that would leave me seven hundred dollars left to play with so I would divide that 700 up, for an example, like 150 for food for the first half, 100 for gas, 50 for Christmas, 50 for vacation, which would be 350, and then the next paycheck I'd take out 350, uh, and uh, and or so on. I'm just trying to give you an example or whatever. But that's what you do is you take your bills, and of course we all got bills. You add up all your bills, and whatever you have left over is how you divide up your envelope system. So, for example, here's my actual envelope system, how much I actually put in my envelopes now. But um, so, for, so, for example, vacation, I'd put that here. I'd put this into the Christmas. I'd put this into the uh, food one. And I'd put this one into the gas one. Now, I've had to really slim down my envelope system. I'm going to put a link in the description below of a video I've done that's more in detail when my wife had her other job and made more money. We was able to put back all kinds of money in a bunch of different envelopes, but since we she went to a part-time job, we've had to slim it down just so that we keep our debt snowball and keep paying, you know, on our bills and, and not let up on that. So we've tightened up our budget a little bit. That's why you don't see as many envelopes. But I hope that explains it really fast. Like I said, start with your bills, add up all your bills. And then whatever you have left over is what you put into the envelopes. And then you can decide how much you need for food, for gas. And if you have extra left over, you can put it towards vacation. You can put it towards Christmas or birthdays or so on. Or, or how you see it, maybe towards clothes. Give yourself a little, you know, maybe you want to put 40 a check back for clothes. You have that much money left over. Or you want to maybe not have a Christmas or a vacation envelope and you put this 40 towards your lowest debt and just keep on paying it more. But I just wanted to give it a quick example of that and hope that it is explained pretty simple. If you have any questions, please ask and refer back to my other envelope system video. God bless you all and thank you for watching.